Hi, my beautiful people. Hi, how you doing? Hope you're good. Hope you're fine. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Yes, this is Saffron Media. Yes, we're here to give you trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings. Yes, and I hope you're enjoying the, how we intimate you with the latest happenings regarding the Edo State forthcoming election. I will all know that this election is just less than 14 days, and uh, you know, a lot has been going on. Remember that the Oba of Benin uh, called the both candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Governor Godwin Obaseke, and the All Progressive Congress candidate, Pastor Sageze Yamo, and even the former National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, uh, uh, Comrade Adam Sushomale, was also in that meeting. He called them for a meeting and also told them about the peace of the land, that it is most important that they keep peace with each other. They should follow peace with each other. They should forget about their differences just because it is politics, and they should remember that the land of the that the land is more important that there should be peace in the land it should ensure that their thugs and even their followers and supporters do things peacefully even before during and after the election and you know after that meeting they hugged each other and promised the other that there will be peace in the land but unfortunately yes really unfortunately just after a few uh, it's even up to uh, two days that uh, the Oba warned and also spoke to Governor Godwin and also is, is Osage Zay Iyamu. You will not believe what happened because thugs went ahead to burn coffin in front of the PDP secretariat. For what reasons, I do not know. But I'll bring you details, details of that shortly. But before then, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get notified anytime we drop a new video yes guys let us dive right in and see why the stocks have decided to burn coffin in pdp sectariat just few days after the oba benin warned about violence in the land after oba benin warned the basic and is a yamu thugs burn coffin in front of pdp secretariat Barely 24 hours after the Oba of Benin, a warrior took called on the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseke, and Pastor Sage is a Iyamu to embrace peace ahead of the September 19th gubernatorial election. Thugs carried a mock coffin to PDP Secretariat and set it on fire. In a video making round online, the thugs can be seen obstructing the busy Akpakpava Road in Benin City where the PDP Secretariat is located. Two men on black attire dropped the coffin in front of the pal in front of the place, set it ablaze and heightened tension in the area. Their action totally violates the Oba of Benin is clamoring for. Yes, Oba Iware had summoned the two major candidates, that is the that of the People's Democratic Party of Baseki and that of the All Progressive Congress, is the Iyamu of the All Progressive Congress to sign a peace pact ahead of the election. He expressed his concern on the on the incessant nuisance and violence in the state, saying he has been having sleepless nights and has held countless number of prayers for peace in the course of the electioneering. The Reverend Monarch went further to urge the politicians, especially the candidates, to send a message of peace to their supporters. With that, with what the talks did yesterday, September 4th, 2020, at the PDP Secretariat, is going a long way to show that youths will never learn. They keep allowing themselves to be used by these politicians while their kids are enjoying in their luxury homes and even some abroad. And obviously, you can see in the pictures that uh, the the coffin is widely written PDP on it and is burnt. And I think these uh, youths are not even trying to make things easy for themselves because election is not war, and they shouldn't take it to you know to the extent of doing so many things that would you know turn the state upside down because it's getting out of hand. Because you can see right here that they said at the Akpakpava Road where the uh, PDP Secretariat is located, the coffin was dropped by two guys that wore black and also immediately set it on fire meaning that they are trying to say that pdp has been born to death and cannot survive in a do state or whatever the meaning of that could be but it is important that they respect the monarch that is the upper of benin because he has called for peace and he has told both candidates to call on their sorters to other that whoever is caught 
that the security agencies will pick them up but they feel perhaps is not really too serious about it and if the governor of the state should take these things too seriously they begin to call him all sort of names and say that uh, because he wants to rig the election that is why he's trying to do this or do that but really it shouldn't get to this extent where you know they have to start burning things on the road where a, a busy road where everyone uh, is passing by and you know causing nuisance in the state just because of an election that just one candidate will win yes two people cannot be on the boat it is just one captain that can sail so that i can concentrate once it is two, there could likely be a confusion but really they are not saying it that way they believe both candidates can win but they should take it easy and they should take it slow so that there can be peace in the land once there is peace everybody enjoys it but once there is tension it also affects everybody directly or indirectly it affects them so even the youths of the land should take it upon themselves and agree that they will not be used for any form of uh, uh, machineries or even uh, a disruption of election in the state youths of nigeria should have known by this time but really it is not their fault because uh, most times the nigerian politicians what they do is to impoverish the youths so the youth do not even have good things to even you know they don't have good quotas to to add to the government of the day so they just become thugs and do all sort of things just for them to make money little little monies from this thing you see a lot of them they are ag bureaus for reasons known to them some that even went to school could not even attain you know good certificates or even some that had good certificates do not have good jobs and all of that at the end of the day they just feel that the government is not responsible enough and they begin to do all of these things yes it is too rampant in nigeria where politicians impoverish the people of the land just for them to you know look up to them for help all the time and i think that should not be the case any longer nigeria should grow to ensure that their youths are useful they ensure that the youths have jobs they have things to do you know put them in programs that will engage their minds because the more you engage their mind the less likely they will get involved in all of these things but when they are not uh uh they, they are jobless they get involved because they feel okay a politician has promised to give them hundred thousand naira if they're able to do this for the last one year they've not seen hundred thousand naira. so what do you expect that is why they are being used so it is a call to the politicians and those in government to ensure that whenever they come into government the first thing they should think about is giving opportunity to the youths of that very state and i think with that there'll be less violence when it comes to election and the likes because they are really doing nothing and it is causing problem for the land and even nigeria at large so my people that is it if you have anything to add about this please drop it in the comment section i'll be waiting to hear from you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now